6. Leaders on the far east side are calling on neighbors for help because they say it takes the community to save the community. The plea comes as the group focusing on anti-violence efforts receives its first injection of city grant money to get to work on solving the problem. RTV6's Nicole Griffin is working for you, showing us how they plan to use the money and why they need your help. Here on the Far East Side near 42nd and Pulse, the Ross Foundation is an organization working every day to ultimately reduce violence here in this area, but they are also serving as leaders here in this community. With the money from the mayor's office, they will be able to continue that mission and make the Far East Side a better place for families. We need the community more than ever right now. As the city of Indianapolis is on track to break another homicide record in 2018, Darris Ross, the founder of the Ross Foundation, is calling on his community on the far east side to get on board and fight back. Our young people are dying younger and younger every year, every week, every month. And until our community come together and unified, uh, we'll never see those type of situations decline. Ross just received part of a $60,000 grant from Mayor Hogstad to help fund the organization's crime prevention program. It's called BASIC. It stands for Building Alternative Solutions in Our Community. There are three parts to the program, community engagement, individual intervention, and support. We identify young people who are more likely to be a shooter or, uh, be, uh, or likely to be shot. Uh, we get information from IMPD. Uh, juvenile detention center to parole officers and then the most importantly we get information from the community. With the grant money he hopes to not only be able to help the people in the program with transportation or financial troubles but he also will hire five to eight community advocates who work with them for an entire year as they complete the crime prevention program but the advocates and Ross can't do it alone. We need more community support. We want the community to get involved with this program. The community advocates will serve as life coaches and violence interceptors. Ross wants them to be people who live on the Far East Side and understand the struggles that some people face. Nicole Griffin, RTV6.